Hello, a uh, really quick video for you guys uh, doing a review of last week's work. The week before break, we started to look at narrative writing. And specifically, we looked at three seventh grade skills that I want you guys to keep in mind and use. Not just keep in mind, I want you to use them. No, I don't want you to. I expect you to use them in your seventh grade writing. Right? And so I just want to review it very, very quickly for you give you a few questions to answer about it, have you look at some examples uh, on your own, and then have you do a little bit of writing today using this technique, this one of these three seventh grade skills. Let's take a look at them. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got here. Okay. So, quick review first. When somebody says, I want you to write a narrative in your mind, in your mind, I immediately want you to think of a story. It's storytelling. It's creative writing, okay? And that's why we're going to use these skills. They're going to help us out with the creative writing, all right? You're already doing narratives. You do them all the time, and every time you start out with, you know, oh my God, you'll never guess what happened to me today <clears throat> with a friend, with a family member, uh, with a teacher, you're telling a story. You're telling a narrative, okay? Now, we need to understand our seventh grade skill for the day which is sensory details. That's when a writer writes a description of a person, place, or thing without naming exactly what that person, place, or thing is. They create an image in your head of what it is. That way they don't have to say what it is. It's descriptive. It creates an image, and it does it through your five senses. What the narrator sees, smells, tastes, hears, or feels. And when I say feels, I mean touches. Okay. It brings your writing to life. And it's a lot better than saying, you know, um, Mr. Hess was holding an apple. Instead, describe the apple. What does it look like? What's its shape? What's its color? What's its texture? Um, what does it sound like when he bites into it? Okay, um, those are the kinds of things that you would. Uh, what does it taste like when he bites it? You know, those are the kinds of things that you'd put in there instead of saying it was an apple in his hand. Describe it, and let let the reader uh, imagine it in their head, like a, a movie that they're watching. So sensory details using your five senses five senses to describe something. Uh, here are two examples, right? One of them uses sensory details and one of them doesn't. Right? My Uber driver was lame. All he did was talk. This does not use sensory details. Even though they're talking and you're hearing it, this is, this is completely stated outright. The Uber driver was, was, it, was it, he, he was a dork. Okay. And, and annoying as well. Mad annoying, because all he did was talk. But I'm not using my senses to describe what he was like. I'm flat out telling you. I'm not showing you through my senses. Don't tell. Show through your senses. And it creates a much more exciting kind of writing. And um, to be perfectly honest, it's a seventh grade skill. It's something you should be able to do. So instead of my Uber driver was so lame, all he did was talk. My Uber driver looked like a deflated airbag. Yikes. And sounded like talk radio on repeat. This is great. I've used two sensory details, my sight and my hearing, to describe what he was like without saying, you know, that he's mad annoying. Okay? I don't have to say it. Anybody who reads that can picture it. They can imagine it. And that's what sensory detail writing is. Describe it with your senses. Uh, I love this exercise. Here's a nice paragraph um, that has lots of sensory details in it, but it's not all sensory details. Notice the first sentence. The first sentence has no sensory details in it. The movie theater is an exciting place where people can relax and enjoy the experience. I'm not showing you anything. I'm telling you flat out, this is a place to go to enjoy a movie, the theater. Um, however, in the next sentence, I kick it off immediately with some great sensory details. Look at this. The warm scent of popcorn emanates throughout the cinema. Animates, emanates just means it spreads. It spreads everywhere. And um, what's the sensory detail? It's that warm sense of smell. 
the warm scent of popcorn. Really good. A waft of chocolate. This is all uh, using my sense of smell. But I'm not done. I I'm going to go on to what it sounds like. The pitter-patter of young children's feet scampering about the arcade creates a feeling of anticipation and joy before the movie begins. Um, so there's, um, again, I can hear. Uh, I can see sleepy grandparents sauntering. Eh, they're not really walking. They're kind of like sauntering through. Uh, as the movie begins, soft cushions. Oh, I can feel. I can feel the cushions. Um, right, and that's it. So I bet you money. I bet you real American pesos that if I deleted the first sentence of this paragraph and I went down and deleted every word that said movie, just get rid of the movie and the first sentence, you would know we were at a movie theater. Right? Most of you would guess it. Okay. So that's really good sensory detail. Okay. Really good, really good work. Um, so what do we want you to do today? We want you to review uh, sensory details uh, by answering some questions on your own. And then I want you to, uh, I want you to try and, and, and do a little yourself with a prompt I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you paragraph number one, and I need two paragraphs from you. And I need sensory details. And I think I should have two good sensory details for every paragraph. And I think every paragraph should be a minimum, minimum of five sentences with two good sensory details in there. Remember, you're telling a story, be creative, have fun, enjoy yourself. And lastly, it's short. It's meant to be short. Why is, why is your writing going to be short today? Uh, only about 10 sentences long. Because I need to read them all. I need to read them all and make sure in the next couple days that you guys uh, understand sensory details.